How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Farming Simulator 19 Survival Series. So it is actually two days later than the previous episode because it was raining all day yesterday so we weren't going to get any work done because we need to do some seeding and planting. So we are up at the new what will be the grass field and um, we are up here just because I wanted to show you guys that this has been cultivated. Because in the previous episode, I forgot that this was plowed up and needed some cultivating. So, yeah, I did that off screen just because we saw a lot of cultivating in the previous episode. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, we're going to head back to the farm. And while we do, I want to just mention a few things. And most of them involve the previous episode. So, first things first is I said that the new cultivator... Um, operates at 20 kilometers an hour as default and uh, that is wrong i i just looked wrong my i have the override mod as you guys know so i can move a little bit quicker in time lapses and things because it just makes recording easier and i just saw that the gps was set at 20 and i thought that was default it wasn't the actual working speed is 15 kilometers an hour and I just set it to 20 so that was the first mistake in the previous episode so it didn't really matter I mean I just wanted to mention it because someone might just pick up that I said oh the working speed is 20 kilometers an hour the default and then it's not because it's wrong so um yeah sorry about that I I got that wrong the actual default working speed is 15 but we'll probably use it on 20 just because it makes things a bit easier and then the next thing is at one stage um, I did talk about the cultivator as well and I said that it requires 700 horsepower to operate it's 500 I said multiple times that it's 500 um, but at one stage I did say 700 it's not 700 it's 500 and I do apologize for these mistakes and another mistake that I made was with the planter the new uh, corn planter is I said in the shop that it's a a 30 inch um, it's actually 30 foot but that is wrong anyways because it's an 80 meter which is around 60 foot so that is wrong anyway for some reason my brain went to inch I thought it was like 30 inch rows or something um, I don't know unless it is 30 inch I, I don't know whatever it is we don't we don't work in inches and um, like feet and, and all of that good stuff uh, we we just use uh, centimeters and meters and things like that in South Africa so yeah if it was wrong I do apologize um yeah I I'm not sure I'm not sure what that measurement is about because it's a 60 foot planter um or 18 meters but it said 30 something inch or foot or whatever it is so whatever it is I do apologize if it was wrong um so yeah that is basically everything and I do apologize that I do sometimes make these mistakes but a lot of these episodes are recorded very late at night and um, mistakes are bound to happen and usually by that point I've also recorded like three episodes and um, yeah they do take a while so mistakes do happen every so often so yeah sorry right um this is unloaded we'll grab another pile there just because we can and that will do its thing it'll start washing i think there is still a decent amount of water in there so that's fine and then one other thing that i wanted to mention real quick as well is recently i have spoken about um, some performance issues and things like that and some of you have very kindly let me know that you guys suffer some performance issues in areas of this map as well so it is not something isolated to me and that's good to know but I have played around with the settings a little bit and I think I have improved it I definitely haven't eliminated it but I think I may have improved it uh, somewhat I think I'm getting on average about in that area over there or just looking in that area I'm getting about I don't know 10 frames per second more so I'm sitting around 55 instead of 45 and that helps it's it's definitely not perfect but it does help so we'll see how that um, pans out if it if it's actually a continual thing I don't know but yeah just so you know um, that is something that I have been working on off screen and hopefully it works out all right okay how are you doing oh almost full beautiful 
So we can dump that as well, and then we can move the trailer trailer around to grab the washed potatoes. And we'll just leave it there. We'll collect them later and put them into the sorters a little bit later on because we need to do a lot of planting today. I don't know if we'll get all of it done. And when I say planting, I mean planting and seeding because we're doing soybeans and we're doing um, actually a bunch of stuff. I can't really remember. Um, I think we wanted to do more canola, definitely, for diesel. Oh, we can also sell diesel. We need to buy a trailer to sell diesel. And um, what else did we need to buy? I don't think we need, needed to buy anything. But we are going to do some oat and we're going to do canola and we're going to do uh, sunflower and we're going to do soybean and all of that good stuff. And we need to do some grass as well. So, yeah. A lot of work to do. Again, I don't know if all of that is going to happen in today's episode, but it might. Right, we're going to leave the trailer right there. And that'll sort of fill up as it needs to, I think. Otherwise, we'll just come back and check if everything's okay. Right. So, um, I think... I think... Maybe we should do this field first. Let's grab the Voltra. Uh, we might actually give it a quick service because it's... It's not bad, but it's not great. So, we'll give that a, a really quick service. And get it ready for seeding. There we go. There. $535. And, right, we can grab the new cedar. Okay, I've got the cedar out. And I've got it filled up with some liquid fertilizer. And some seed. And we are going to start planting sunflowers. Which is another first for the farm, which is awesome. I mean, that means we're making some progression. So we did corn for the very first time in the previous episode, and sunflowers this episode. Pretty freaking cool. I like this. I do like this planter a lot. And we'll see how this goes, and how the yield turns out and all of this, and maybe we'll do more of these sort of crops going forward. I'm sure we'll do a lot of corn and things like that, but maybe we can focus a bit more on these sort of crops. Since we, we've we been doing just our, our normal sort of, what are they called, cereal crops, I think it's called, um, for over 60 episodes. So yeah, maybe we can focus a bit more on these sort of crops. I'm not really sure what they are called, but um, you know what I mean. Things like corn and sunflowers and We'll probably get into sugar beet at some stage, but that's buying a whole load of new equipment again. So I want to try and focus on things that we've already got. And we don't have to buy a huge amount of new equipment. We did have to buy some new equipment for the corn though. Um, but that's fine because we can use that for the sunflower as well. And yeah, I mean it'll be kind of cool to just venture into some new things. I'm not sure what this can actually plant. Hmm... We'll have to check. I would like to do things like cotton at some stage. And um, that is just very expensive. The equipment surrounding cotton is extremely expensive. But, I mean, we are doing pretty well financially lately. And, yeah, we might be able to afford that at some stage. But I do want to get into uh, some cows and pigs and things like that before we get into cotton and maybe even sugarcane. That would be interesting. I've never, ever done sugarcane. That can be kind of cool. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right. This field is always a bit weird um, to plant. Well, to do anything on, really. But it's fine. We'll figure it out. But I think for now, what we will do is we're going to jump, uh, jump into a time lapse. And we're going to get a few of these fields knocked out. I'm not sure if we'll get all of them done. Uh, but if we do, that'll be great. If we don't, that's fine. And um, yeah. For now, we're going to jump into a time lapse, so sit back, relax, and enjoy.
All right, that is drilling complete, and that was a pretty big job, and most likely a pretty long time lapse. So I hope it was enjoyable though, uh, probably a bit longer than what I usually like to do, but that's okay. And um, yeah, we are heading up to the shop because we're going to be buying a diesel tanker. I want to sell some diesel today because there's a few things that I want to buy very, very soon. Uh, the one is I want to get the upgraded John Deere tractor, the 500 horsepower version. Um, so they're very, very similar, but they're not the same tractor. It's not just like an engine change. It is actually a completely different tractor. And that's going to cost a bit of money to do that. And then I do want to get a different cedar at some stage. So probably only after this harvest because we don't need it now. And I'm looking at this, the Terminator TH-18 which goes with that the th1400 so that is the idea it's also a notal so that's pretty nice and it's an 18 meter working with so it'll be the same as the corn planter that we've got at the moment and yeah should be pretty handy that but we'll try and buy that a bit later because it is very very expensive for now we are going to be buying a diesel trailer and i'm looking at this one so color wise I think we're just going to go for chrome. That's fine because it looks nice. And there's no other options except for buying it second hand. And I mean, it's just a tank. It makes sense to save $5,000. So I think we're going to do that. So that's going to be a grand total of $20,000. And that means, oh, that looks nice. That means that we can go sell some diesel. So I think this tank is a little bit big to pull behind the pickup truck. Um, I mean... It could probably do it because it is a like a dolly trailer so it doesn't really have any well it doesn't have any weight on the hitch at all but um yeah i mean I, I think it's just better suited to a tractor so we'll we'll keep it behind the tractor for now so in terms of tractors i don't really know what we're going to do with the veltra so i do want to replace it I'm just not really sure with what yet do I want to go for something similar but older. Do I want to go for something bigger but that sort of does the same thing. I don't really know yet and we don't really have the money right now. And yeah, there's there's a few things that we need to do and I really, really, really want to get into cows very soon. So I want to try and save up for that. But for now... I mean, we still have... Okay, so there's 7,800 liters. We can't actually... Hmm. I want to keep about 1,000. Well, that is very, very slow. So I'm going to let that be for a while. And I want to see what's going on here. Okay. I know what's going on here. We are full on potatoes. So we need the trailer over there. I mean, it wouldn't be a, the worst thing to have a second trailer here. Maybe we should just buy another Marston trailer. I mean, they are very, very handy. They're just a bit small in capacity, I guess. But, um, I mean, they do the job. They're fine. They do get stuck a little bit when tipping. But, again, not a massive deal. Alright. Put that over there. Beautiful. So, that'll start washing again. And this should start picking up some potatoes again. But I guess it's still full. Yep, still full. Right. So that has given us a large amount of potatoes. Washed potatoes. And I don't know if the conveyors are on. They're probably not. But it's fine. We'll just tip here. Like so. We'll do 50% this side and then 50% on the other side in between the middle and the closest conveyor belt to us. There we go. And they should be fine picking that. Next one. The pickup on these conveyors are pretty good. So, not a huge deal. Right. That should do that we'll go have a look how much diesel we've got in there probably not a lot it is a very 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 slow fill and i want to try and keep about a thousand liters but 
I mean, if we don't, it's fine. Diesel's not that expensive, and we're not exactly pressed for money. And I also think for what we will get for a thousand liters of biodiesel, um, we can probably fill all of our machines on the farm 200 times for that amount of money. So, yeah, I, I think we're just going to fill it up. I think we are not going to keep any diesel because we're going to be making more diesel very soon. So, we won't be keeping any diesel. We need to service this trailer though. Okay, so that is just about filling up. And let's have a look where we can sell this. And what the price is. So, there we go. Diesel is $17.36 per gallon. That is very expensive. Uh, edge Grain Vault. So, that is up here. Beautiful. Okay, so that is filled up. And how much do we have left? Oh, we've still got a lot of diesel left. 50%. Goodness me. Why did I think it's going to be a single load? I, I thought we had like 7,000 something liters. 7,800. Where did I see that? I have no idea. Right. We have a lot of diesel. So, yeah. I think we're just going to be selling all of it. So, we'll do the first load here. Um, in real time and then we'll jump into a time lapse and we'll do the rest of them in a time lapse because it does seem like it's going to take a while and I'll also just cut out the filling because the filling does uh, take quite a bit of time but while we're doing that I'll, I'll probably move some potatoes so we can get them all sorted I'll turn on the conveyor belts and all of that good stuff and um, yeah that'll keep me busy for a while while these things are filling but um let's see let's see what we get right so we're on 188,000, and have we sold anything today i don't think so uh property income nothing else okay beautiful yeah that's a lot of money 70 percent 50 percent yeah, I think we're going to be making quite a bit of money on diesel here. Well, there we go. Almost $37,000 per tank. And we've probably got another three tanks. Right, this is going to be a good payday. Uh, a good unexpected payday. Uh, I thought about selling the diesel um, in this episode, but I thought we'd probably get about $15,000 or something. Yeah, we, we could well get over $100,000. I didn't specifically check how much diesel was in there. I think it was 20-something thousand liters. So, um, yeah, let's see. So, we are going to jump into a very quick time lapse and just get all of this sold. And um, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. That is all of the diesel sold and I did realize what my mistake was with the 7,800 is I looked at the value in gallons and then I looked at the value of the trailer in liters. So um, yeah, it was 7,800 gallons, not 7,800 liters. So that's fine. That explains everything. And uh, yeah. That was a, a decent amount of money. We'll have a look in a second how much it was in total. And I think the trailer will probably just live here for now until I can think of a place to put it. Uh, disconnect that. That's fine. And we'll just leave the Voltra here. So I have been busy with the potatoes for a little bit. And I did have to move this again. Because even with it over here, that thing over there still somehow managed to pick up some of the potatoes. So, um, 
yeah, in terms of what we got for the diesel, we got a total of $136,000 for that diesel. And that is a very, very, very good payday. So unexpected, very good though. And we still have a bunch of logs that we can make into firewood for a bit of extra money as well. So um, what I've done is I've got the trailer back here. We've got a full load again, and we are getting through this pretty well. And we, we still need to sell all of this. So 58,000 is left in here. So we've gone through, if memory serves, I think we've gone through about 100,000 liters now. So just activate that again. Activate that. And that. So that should be all of the potatoes in there now. Brilliant. Okay, and these things are going to continue to do some sorting for quite some time. But we can empty them out into the trailers. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so we are ending up with a, a decent amount of potatoes. That is pretty cool though. That looks cool. I know it's the wrong orders, but it looks cool. Yeah, very good. So we have got... 14.4 tons of potatoes there premium potatoes so they should be worth quite a bit and then over in here we have a bit of a storage i don't think it's that much uh 26 000 liters pretty freaking good though all right so that is all of the diesel sold so i wanted to keep a bit but it's worth so much that it wasn't really worth keeping any of it and we've still got some methanol left but we'll fill that up uh, we are growing some canola and well as of today we are growing some canola so that's good we'll use all of that canola for diesel again uh, it's a bit more interesting than just selling the canola straight up that tractor over there is going to get replaced at some stage and um yeah just a bigger version of it or it's not really physically bigger it's physically about the exact same size just a much much more powerful engine and um yeah all of the fields are seeded which is great um, performance wise, I think things are going better in terms of FPS. I did notice a couple of micro stutters here and there, but I think we're okay. I, I think we're doing okay in that sense. So that's good. It takes out a bit of frustration and I don't know, it probably bothers me more than it bothers most people, but it's fine. If I can fix it, I'm always going to try and fix it. And, um, yeah, I think that was a pretty successful day on the farm. We've got a bunch of potatoes going. I'll just wait for them to sort of finish sorting and I'll empty them into the trailers and they'll be fine and I'll probably put away some of the equipment as well and um yeah in the next episode I don't really know what we are going to do in the next episode uh, we'll see if there's any weeds to take care of and um, hopefully we can do mechanical weeding this time around and if we can I want to buy the the very big um weeder that'll make life a little bit easier we'll sell the smaller ones but um, we'll have to see. If not, if the the plants germinate before, or the crop germinates before the uh, weeds, we'll have to spray them again. I really don't want to, but we, if we have to, that's fine. Uh, it's just much, much cheaper to do mechanical weeding. But anyway, that is going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time.